What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Uh, first off, I love you, Chelsea. She told me to give her a shout out, so I gave her a shout out. Also, if you're going to Worlds this weekend, I know that's kind of all over the place right now from the start. Who cares? Whatever. My channel. I run it how I want to. Uh, this weekend, I'll actually be in Worlds. Me and Chelsea will be at Worlds. We both got spectator badges. We're going to be, you know, I don't know, just hanging out and doing whatever. Uh, she's, ne she's never actually been to a Pokemon tournament so why not start off with worlds right the biggest stage ever why not show show her the world championship right um that'd be great i just got my hair cut we're feeling great we're looking great um didn't get didn't get the commentary job for worlds dang it there's always next year though um coming for you coming for you puka we're trying to take your spot just kidding uh but today what we're talking about oh the title above us yes where to get free post rotation deck list now i probably got like a billion messages asking where can we see post rotation deck lists when you're going to start using them blah 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 where the thing is there's still like lead challenges and leak ups going on that are using the world format so that's why i haven't really updated or uploaded any of the post rotation stuff but today that is going to change we're going to really we're going to show a couple of post rotation decks now this is out obviously not through me this is actually through ace trainer australia they are a website slash facebook slash youtube slash everything and uh, i want to show them off because they do have some great content on the face page uh they do have some content on their the website on their face on their website i guess they got no uh new article about who's the best from Australia, I'm pretty sure this is what it talks about. Yeah, you got Jordan Palmer, probably like the most like notable, I guess, Australian player. Um, I think he's like what 708 championship points. I think that's what I read. Maybe it's more or less. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Uh, they actually just add a new person. Maybe these are people on the team, but I know Jordan is definitely the one of the most, if not the most, uh, well-known um, Australian player. Uh, yeah, top five Aussie players this season by championship points. So the first place is Jordan Palmer, then Samir, uh, then we have Tate Tran, Angus Johnson, Brent Tonneson, and I guess that's five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's the top the top five players in Australia. So a little article back that about that if you ever want to learn about the Australian players. So there you go. Uh, but once again, I know y'all don't really care about this probably. Uh, there's some more, more stuff on here. I guess they do have more than I thought they did for some reason. Um, talk about Dunsparce, which you actually saw Dunsparce yesterday in the Road Tuesday video. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, it talks about the old days and everything with that. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, what we learned from the NIC. So yeah, go check out the website. All the articles are free, so go check that out. Uh, I'm talking about Zorak Lycanroc. These are back in July. Uh, it's nothing too much. So where can we find the information for the deck list I'm talking about? Can we go to articles and see what this looks like real quick? All right, there we go. It looks like the same exact thing, actually. All right, so let's go to their Facebook page. So we're going to click over to Facebook. And, of course, I'll leave a link down to everything below. Here's their little Facebook page. Everything's pretty much the same age trainer. They have a SoundCloud. Maybe one day I have a SoundCloud. Probably not. That's a lot of work. I don't have time to do podcasts. I don't have time to do YouTube channel. Uh, Facebook. Um, age trainer. Saw the Facebook page. All right, so let's scroll down. So we see the article, the world's draft. Uh, they got some videos you can see we'll keep on scrolling down and I'll have a link straight to this post because I know that's what people pretty much want to see right so are you looking to get an edge for the Melbourne special event won't be attending Worlds 2018 and want to get a head start in the new format well Ace Turner has you covered our Queensland contingent Content, contingent, I don't know how to say the word, has been testing hard for the first event of post rotation. And here are some lists that we are, we feel have great potential coming September 1st. If you like this content, make sure to follow us all on social media, but especially Twitter. Um, I don't really use Twitter. We, do, I do have a Twitter. I just don't really use it. Um, so go check out my Twitter as well. The down below handles down below. I think it's just Team Fish Knuckles. Anyway, let's look at some of their deck list and uh, we'll try to talk about them. I really don't know what a lot of these cards do. Post rotation. So the first one is going to be a Meta Gross deck. Meta Gross, Meta Gross, however you want to say it. Um, 
I, I've seen a lot of hype behind this deck for sure. Uh, you notice there's a heavy amount of Cynthia. We have four Acrobike, one Judge, a Volkner, and a Lily. Uh, we actually lose in. I guess we must lose Sycamore as well. I, I don't. I literally have no idea what gets rotated, what gets not gets rotated. Uh, looks like there's four Ray Candy, of course, three Order Pad. Four Max Potion, one Field Blower. There is no Garbodor Garbodor Toxin, so you do not have to worry about any more, uh, which is very nice. Uh, there's a Mimikyu to copy attacks, and then Dustmane Necrozma promo to attack as well. So Metagross stack. Metagross has actually seen a lot of play in the Memphis area. Um, when I've gone to League, there has been a lot of Metagrosses running down, so obviously Metagross seems like a good play for next season. Uh, next up is a Zork Galissapod deck. Now, there is a Dedeni in here that I have no idea what it does. Um, we could look it up, but um, whatever. We'll keep it a mystery. We'll just want to know what it does. So, in this list, we see 4-4 Zork. We see the Wimpod. We see Galissapod. Uh, we got the Tapakoko, the Ranguru, a Latios, a Dedeni, three a Lele. And we do see two Counter Catcher and two Enhanced Hammer. Remember, Puzzle has rotated as well. So we're going to start seeing these Zork decks without Puzzle. Um, a Special Charge does rotate as well. So there's really no way to get back your Special Energies in the upcoming format. I think the only way, I, top of my head, I could be incorrect though, is Gardevoir GX. Uh, there's no Bridget as well. You see there's four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball. So it's another key card we are missing. Did the last list play more... Um, four Ultra Ball, two Nest Ball, okay. Uh, so we see, you know, the four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, two Counter Card, and two Tire Balls. So we have ten Search Item Cards with this. All right. Uh, two Judge. I think Judge is a great inclusion in Zark decks just because you can trade after you judge them to four. It's basically like an end, but they're always getting four. It's not the best, especially if you have one prize card left, but whatever. Um, so yeah, there is a Zark Glitzpot deck still. Zark is going to be a very highly played deck coming the next season. And here is a Greninja deck. Greninja that, like, does, you know, snakes of damage with the Frogadier and the Greninja GX. We see the Lydios once again to put damage on the active and bench. Um, we see some choice spins. I guess, yeah, I guess Sycamore or... Um, whatever that, yeah, Sycamore must rotate, because I have yet to see any in these lists. We see Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill is actually pretty nice to still have. Uh, B1 Search for those Water Pokemon is really cool. We got some Choice Span, some Aqua Patch, and Super Scoop Up to basically reuse those abilities. I do like that a lot. Uh, two Judge and four Cynthia. Uh, these lists are going to start getting very weird, just because we really don't have that many supporter cards. I mean, we see three Lily. Uh, great draw to have six cards in your hand. We see Judge, but I think this format is going to like tremendously slow down without the inclusion of Juniper because or Sycamore or Juniper, either one, because those cards actually help you like thin out your deck. And since you don't have that, I mean, we do have Ultra Ball still, but this format is going to be totally different. We do see four Acrobat as well, so a very heavy item based deck. Uh, so maybe Trash Lunge actually might, might pick up some more steam as well. We do see more of these lists are playing more item cards. Unless, uh, unless Trash Lunge rotates, but I highly doubt that card rotates, right? Uh, next up, we have a Gardevoir deck. I was just talking about Gardevoir. Look at there. All right. So we see Gardevoir um, in Sporter. I don't know what that card does. There's a Deontia, an Apricorn, Apricorn Maker. I think it's there for ball cards, if I remember correctly. There's four Guzma, four Cynthia. Uh, looks like, uh, and three Copycat, so this list actually includes Copycat, which I love, I, I think Copycat's a good card, for sure, you copy, you copy your opponent's hand, and shuffle, you know, shove your hand to the deck, draws many cards your opponent has, uh, Tutu Sylveon, I, I, is, I guess an Octo must be rotating as well, because they have yet to see an Octillery, I guess Breakthrough must be rotating, because I have yet to see an Octo in any of these decks, Octo is obviously a really good deck in Gardevoir, but we do not have that anymore. But we still have this Sylveon. Sylveon is just really good, uh, just being able to uh, search for any three cards, put them to your hand. But, I mean, there's a lot of suggestions on the right. Like, you see right now, probably Sylveon with Zark. Also, there's no Floatstone, so um, that's another card you have to kind of worry about with these decks. There's no more Floatstone, so you, you definitely have to play three or four Guzma. I think somebody said this as well. Uh, fourth Guzma is even more important, so... So I'm talking about playing Dunsparce. Oh, that could be good as well. And there's a little in Vulpix. There's a lot of different things we have to consider with these new formats. All right. So next up, we have a Malamar um, Dustmane deck. I'm actually 
really excited about this list as a Mewtwo, um, just because you have the Altar of the Moon for the Retreat, uh, which is really nice. Mm, you are going to so much struggle against like um, Zork, I feel like, still, just because you have the Weakness of Dark, but then you have the Ultra... Uh, the dust ultra main dude necrozma guy whatever the heck he does uh we've got some four mysterious shards are still really good we've got b string as well there's no more max so that does get rotated oh they do play one of the supporter cards we have the two different effects the switch or shuffle and draw like five or six cards i can't remember what it does uh one of these things energy recycler or something i don't know what that card does um there's a lot of new cards I don't know what they do because I don't play those now. And with the new format, that definitely is changing. Uh, so, for Cynthia, two Lily, and one of these guys. Uh, so, that's all. Oh, and then for Acrobike. Oh, man, every single list has seemed to play Acrobike so far. But it seems like it's only one of our few supporter cards or draw cards. Ooh, a Zork Lycanroc deck. Ooh, I like this a lot. I like the inclusion of the of the uh, unit energy. So, you can actually use Zork GX's um, GX attack if needed. That's pretty neat. Uh, I like the Deontay. I like the the, the Buzzle do additional damage. I like the Judge in here. Man, once again, I think you know Zark is still just going to be a very strong play. I feel like uh, four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, two Time Ball, two Pal Pad to give back your supporter cards, um, which is good. Once again, you have no puzzles, so that's going to be a good way to get it back. One Multi Switch Stretcher and Field Blower. Once again, there's no Garbodor, so you really don't need Field Blower all the way, but still, it's good to get rid of. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe not. Maybe you just don't play Field Blower. It's good to get rid of Parallel City if that card still exists, right? I've yet to see a Parallel City. I've yet to see a sustainable card besides um, of Brooklyn Hill. Okay, so I'm guessing Parallel City must rotate because they have yet to see that card either. All right, so this is Zork Lycanroc deck. Uh, and there's another Metagross deck. Now, also, what ha H Train has done, if you look, they have talked about the great matchups. Great matchup against Rayquaza, Greninja, Beast Box, and Gardevoir. Close matchup against Zor Ork Lycanroc. So it looks like they're ha they're highly favoring this Metagross deck. Uh, Zerg Lispot has great matchup against Ork Lycanroc. Beast Box, close matchup is Guardi. Uh, Greninja Lydios, great matchup against everything. Toughest matchup is Metagross, okay. Uh, Guardi, I guess they don't have the matchups here. Maybe they haven't played it too much. Uh, there's the Ultra Necrozma deck, and the Zark Lycanroc, and that's going to be it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different decks to test off going into the new format. So there you go. There's six different free lists to start looking into for next format. Now tomorrow we are covering, um, we're still going to expand it Thursday. It's, uh, the, the ban list, I think, is in effect in that video if I remember correctly but we're just covering one of the most hyped decks going into expanded um, we'll have to keep it a secret we'll see what it is it's actually a world's winning deck um, that people are very hyping up right now and I actually use the world's winning list to see how it does in the format now like we did last or like we did Tuesday but guys hope you enjoyed this video go like Ace Trainers Australia's Facebook page make sure you check them out see these different deck lists on their website and I think it's a great thing for that Ace Trainer is doing but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hit the subscribe button we'll see you tomorrow on Thursday already bye